What's up guys, Brian here with another Java game programming tutorial. So uh, first off, congrats on making the jump over here to uh, Indie Programmer. Uh, hopefully you've seen the previous episode and the previous actually 25 episodes. So if not, you know, click the link on the screen and that will uh, direct you over there so you can get caught up on this uh, game programming series. But I'm assuming you guys have seen those episodes. So congrats on making your way over to the new channel. Make sure to uh, subscribe to stay in touch with all the new episodes that come out. So the last time we left off, we have our guy. Don't worry if your map is not the same as mine because it doesn't really matter at this point as long as you have your enemies on a path surrounded by another type of tile. So mine's on a dirt path surrounded by grass tiles. Um, and you'll see that they are not turning left. So kind of a big deal. Um, they can turn up. Ha, ah, turn, that's not funny. They can turn up and they can uh, turn right, as I had in the previous maze, but they cannot turn left, but they can turn down. And so why is that, huh? We're gonna figure that out right now. And then we're gonna fix that, and then we're also going to fix the issue that I think will happen once we fix this. So uh, two bugs we're gonna squash here. Uh, first off, we're gonna go to the find next D, or find next direction method. And inside of here, this is where we decide what direction we're going to head to once we reach a checkpoint. So here at the top we have up, then right, then down, then left. But because the way we have this uh, kind of situated and sorted out here, we have an if, else if, else if, else if set up here. So it goes in order. So what I mean by that is it's going to first check if we can go up, and if we can, it's going to go up, right? If we can't go if uh, if we can't go up. If the tile above us is not the same as the one we're on, then we're going to check if we can go right. If that's not the case, we're going to check if we can go down. And if that's not the case, we're going to check if we can go left. So left is the last option here, which means that there's always going to be one of these possibilities that will be true. Every time. Because the enemies have to come from somewhere, right? So if you're an enemy and you're going along to the right and you come up to a little corner here, you, you came from this area already right before, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but you came from the path you're already on. So when we have our enemies over here, and they're traveling this way, and they reach up to this top point right here, they're gonna say, can we go up? No, it's a different tile. Can we go right? No, it's a different tile. Can we go down? Yes, that's the same tile. So it goes down before ever checking left. Even though that might make sense to us to go left, they are doing what they're told to do. So we're going to fix that by adding another thing to check here in the if statement. Um, and, and, let's see, how should I word this? Directions at 1 does not equal 1. All right, so make sure you spell directions correctly. And if you'll remember, directions is our array of integers up here that we created for the x direction and the y direction. And these correspond to the current direction that our enemy is currently going uh, whenever we check that method. So directions at zero is for the x and directions at one is for the y. So let's go back down here. And you can see what we're checking now is we're gonna say, if we're going up and our current direction is not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot what I just said. If the tile above us is the same as ours, so if we can go up and our direction is not currently down, which would be the Y position is positive, right? Because you're going down, right? So if we could go up because of the tiles and we're not currently going down, then we'll go up. So that, that eliminates the possibility of us like going down, 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 reaching a corner and then going back up, like rubber banding back up and bouncing. Instead, we'll look to the left and right. So we can actually copy this right here and put it, oops, that was a little too, too far. Put it here in the rest of these possibilities right here, rest of these if statements, and we're just gonna modify it. So here's for the right tile. So we wanna make sure that our X is not currently negative one. Here is for down, we wanna make sure our Y is not currently negative one. And here for the left, we wanna make sure our X is not currently one. So I believe this should work, so let's, uh, run it and it should still go up here and the only difference will be 
when it gets up here, it should say we can't go down because we're already going up. That'd be silly to just rub our band backwards. And it works. So now they can go left, right, up, and down. And here is the error <laughs> that I thought would happen. And we're going to fix that right now. So we get an index out of bounds exception because the enemies reach the end of the maze that we've created for them. Which, first off, it is an error, but you guys have got to be proud of what we've made so far, right? We have enemies that can automatically map their way through any maze that we make, right? They can detect all of the corners and make it to the very end. So figuring out what to do with our enemies once they reach the very end of the maze is actually a kind of cool error to have, right? It means we've gotten pretty far. Um, not to get all mushy, but let's try and fix that now. The reason we get an index out of bounds exception is because the AI is just trying to do its job. You know, it's the little AI that could, and we're checking every time the game updates, we're saying, if we reached a checkpoint, then go to the next checkpoint. Okay. So we go to checkpoint one. We're like, all right, let's go to checkpoint two. We reach there. Let's go checkpoint three, reach there. Let's go checkpoint four, reach there. And we say, let's go to checkpoint five, even though it doesn't exist. Right, because right now we have no contingency plan for reaching the end of the maze. We just keep wanting to go next, 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 the next checkpoint. So what we're going to do is inside of the if checkpoint reached, so when we reach a checkpoint, we're going to check if our current checkpoint plus one is equal to checkpoints dot size. Okay, and if that's the case, we're going to print out enemy reached end of maze. So actually what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, subtract a life from the player and destroy the enemy, right? Because that's what happens in tower defense. If you don't kill them in time and they make it to the end, then you, you lose a life. But we don't have that in place yet, so we're just going to print a message uh, so that we don't get an error. And then after that, else. Make sure you add that else. It's very important. Because we're only going to go to the next checkpoint if this is not the case, if we haven't reached the last one. So what does this plus one mean, huh? Well, checkpoints, if you'll remember, is the array list that we made up here that holds all the checkpoints in the entire map. And current checkpoint is the integer that corresponds with the current like step in the process that we're on uh, of going through the map. So the reason we're adding one here is because we want to look ahead, right? We want to prevent that error in the game from crashing before it actually occurs. So we're constantly checking, all right, if we reach the checkpoint, let's make sure that there's at least one more after this before we go to that next one. I hope that makes sense. So we want to make sure that a checkpoint actually is, exists before we tell it to move up to the next one. Um, and I think that should uh, solve the error here. So let's uh, go ahead and run that and make sure. So they're going up. I probably should have increased the speed a little bit. I'm sorry for <laughs> making it so slow. Uh, so hopefully the game will not crash here. So let's uh, move this over here. No direction found. And you reached end of maze. So you can see they stop here. The game doesn't crash or die. This is going to repeat every time the game updates. So that's going to get very old, obviously. And we're going to, that's just a temporary solution until we uh, make lives, which we might start next episode, actually, is making player lives. I'm going to try and put these out uh, more often. Um, on this new channel. So they're just stacking up here. So we're going to destroy them and uh, subtract a life next time. And I, you might have noticed actually we have that no direction found issue too. So it looks like it happens once at the very start and then one time for every new enemy that spawns. And uh, we're going to take care of that too. Don't worry. Um, so next time we're going to start, I think, our life pool, uh, or at least the, the skeleton for that and a way to destroy the enemies once they reach the end, and then also try and figure out this no direction found error. So uh, that's it for this time, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks for uh, joining me at the new channel, and I'll see you guys next time.